So on this slide, we talk about global functions on P1. So the idea is this, or the result which we want to talk about is that the global function on P1 is a constant. So if you want to define a global function of the a global function on a projective line, that is some function which is defined on all the projective line, it has to be a constant. Yeah, so first of all, we need to talk about coordinates of P1. Yeah, so the coordinates of P1 are x0, comma x1. Yeah, so now we talk about the open covering of P1. So the first thing is x0 is not equal to 0. This is one cover and then u1 is x1 is not equal to 0. Yeah, so now we want to define a function on u0. So uh, we have to talk about homogeneous functions on p1 but we went when, but when we transfer these homogeneous functions to u0 that is on the affine plane you need to dehomogenize them so again you start with the homogeneous polynomial and then you dehomogenize it so the function is of the form like this yeah x1 over x0 so you are taking it on the set x0 not equal to 1 then you dehomogenize it by x0 similarly on this a good function on uh, set u1 where x1 is not equal to 0 you talk about functions of the form g x0 by x1 that is you divide by x1 to dehomogenize it so you have a homogeneous polynomial on the projective line and then you have to dehomogenize it when you come down to the set or the cover So a good function on all of projective line yeah, or a global function, so the function which is defined on all the projective line should also be defined on the intersection of u0 and u1. So basically we should be able to glue the function together on the intersection. So if you have some global, global function, it is defined on u0 it is defined on u1 you should be able to glue it together on the intersection so if this global function takes is a polynomial f on u0 and a polynomial g on u1 on the intersection these two polynomials should be equal so basically you should be able to glue on the intersection so what does that mean? So let us write down some polynomial f. So f is of degree n and we are just writing it uh, as we should. So this global function is such that on the set u0 it has degree n. And on the set u1 it has say degree n1 obviously n1 could be same as n or it could be different than n does not matter so basically on the intersection we should be able to glue this global function yeah or if it has a global function it has to agree on the intersection now we don't have to do much just clear the denominators by multiplying by the highest power obviously f has degree n so you multiply by x0 n and to clear the right hand side you have to multiply by x1 raised to the power of n1 yeah and x1 raised to the power of n1 and basically clear the denominators collect everything on the left hand side
yeah, x0 raised to the power of n minus 1 and then x1 raised to the power of n1 plus 1. And then you subtract the polynomial which we bring in from the right hand side. So I will just write it down right here. and then we have alpha 0. So this entire polynomial is equal to 0. That is the polynomial in x1 and x0 is 0 on entire of plane yeah on the entire of k2 this polynomial is 0 so polynomial which vanishes on the entire plane we will appeal to a result a polynomial that is 0 on the entire plane has its coefficients as 0 so this result we will use yes thus the coefficients are 0 so basically what we have proved is that if there is a polynomial that if there is a non-constant function then the coefficients are all zero that means we basically cannot have a polynomial as a global function on entire of p1 because if you try to keep a polynomial you will get all coefficients as zero so therefore the only choice left is a constant yeah obviously constant if you have constant will agree on u0 intersection u1 so that is pretty much it